Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas All right, this is Trinity College London ISC1 B1 Writing Task 3 and 4 before we move to the question, it is important to know the criteria, how to pass. First requirement is this, that reading for writing, using information from the reading texts in the writing. Use information from the reading texts. Now, what does it mean? If we move to the question here, Jyoti, can you read this question? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Write a letter for new students about the fashion course. Uh, describe what student will uh, do on the course. Explain uh, what they will have to do on the first day. And say what student thought about the last course. Okay, so beautiful. Read these instructions also. Use the information. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, use the information you read in text A, B, C, and D. Page number four and five. So, uh, uh, do not copy from the text. Use your own words as far as possible. You should plan, plan your letter before you start writing. Think about what you are going to write and make some notes to help you in, the book, in this box. Thank you. As the statement says, use the information from your... Use the information you read in text A, B, C, and D. Do not copy from the text. See, we need to ignore this because we need to look at the marking criteria, right? If people will not copy from the text, they will not have marks, okay? And they will lose okay. marks for that particular bar. Use your own words as far as possible. Now let's get back to the criteria once again. Then in here, uh, we will have a look at this. They say task fulfillment. What do I say? Task fulfillment, fulfillment reading for writing using information from the reading text only then you will get marks in this section when you will use information from the text task fulfillment answering the question fully and appropriately what do i say what what is the meaning of fully and appropriately the meaning is this that find the answer to these three bullet points give a full answer and give a correct answer right that describe what students mm -hmm. will do on the course you need to find it from the text appropriately and then write it understanding or not yes all right then if we go down further if i say uh, organization and structure organizing your text logically and clearly and presenting your writing appropriately what, what do you mean by organization? When I say firstly, secondly, thirdly, organization means putting things in order, right or wrong? Yeah. Yes. So arranging information logically and organizing it, it, that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to divide paragraphs and tell them, okay, firstly, I want to talk about this. Secondly, I want to talk about this. And thirdly, I want to talk about this because we want to gain marks. Then the last part is language control. Now, what is the meaning of language control here? You know, language control means grammar, but people do not know grammar, right? Some people are not good at spelling, not good at grammar. So we are trying to use punctuations. What are punctuations? Semicolon, comma, right? To describe what I want to say in lesser words to show language control and write correct English at the same time. Because they say use appropriate words and grammar accurately. But some people do not know accurate grammar and there might be an issue. So we can use punctuations to complete the task. Any confusion? Now, let's try to write this question that's on the screen. Yeah. Mohammed, what do you what you are supposed to do in here? You look. And then there's also a biggest confusion here that do should we do the planning notes or not it is your choice absolutely if you want to do the planning notes or not because there are no marks for it right okay. i suggest my students to take some planning notes to help them like little pointers little outlines in here that would just help them 
Muhammad, now listen carefully. This task is very easy. It's not hard at all and very doable. Uh, now, what you're supposed to do. All right. So, uh, Muhammad, look, firstly, what would you write in here? Firstly, firstly, I want to, I want to describe what students, what students will do on the course. Uh, what students will do on the course. Semicolon. And then we will find the information from the text. How will we start the second paragraph? Can anyone tell me? Secondly. 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 I want to. I want to explain. I want to explain. Hmm. Uh, uh, what they uh, what they will have to do on the first day. And see what students thought about. And lastly, or finally, or thirdly, it's your choice. What word do you want to choose? Girish, you do not know the spelling of finally. Okay? You just write it with a single L. Write it with a double L. Or if you don't want to use that, just go with thirdly. Thirdly, I want to say... <coughs> I want to say what students thought about the last course. Thought about the last, the last course. course. Now take out your notebooks and quickly write this there. Then I will display both tasks on uh, both passages on either side and you will solve it. Okay. Take out your notebook, please write this down first. Firstly, I want to describe this. Secondly, this. Thirdly, this. And ma'am, I don't familiar with this uh, paper five because I before time I didn't read it. It's okay. We can do it now. We can do it. Nobody's familiar with this one. It's new for everyone. That's the real task. You know that a task oh. is given to you. You need to find the information from it. Write it on your notebook. First point is, firstly, firstly I want to describe what students will do on the course. I can only tell you that the, the information the, uh, about what students will do on the course is given in text A. Now find information about text A and complete it on your notebook, notebook and then send me photo, right? So that I can check if this information is given fully appropriately with language control and information is from the text or not, okay? Okay. Do it and send me on WhatsApp picture. Sir, C and D is not required. We are just trying to find point one first. Firstly, I want to describe what students will do on the course. That's not given in text C and D. That's only available in text A. So I just made it easier for you, okay? So once you're done with point one, then, uh, then we'll move to the next point. No. Uh, Muhammad, I received your answer. Please read it. Read aloud for me. Read. Uh, Muhammad, are you there? I received your answer. Please read it from WhatsApp. Read. Yeah. Uh, Mama, just uh, uh, I can't uh, download the paper five. I just see from here. So I just read. Um, Designed and make their personal clothes. And secondly, uh, they will go fashion museum for examinations. Previous record of the clothes. Okay, sir, you've written here that firstly, I want to describe about what students will do on the course. Uh, design clothes, wrong spelling of design and make their personal quotes or wrong spelling of quotes. You need to copy correct spelling, sir. If we can't copy from the text, this means that there is difficulty in passing the test, okay? When you're copying, when the spelling of design is already here, the spelling of clothes already here, uh, but you've not written it, right? That's incorrect spelling. Am I right, sir? Yeah, I see, but... Uh... This information uh, 
uh, can I copy same to same? Yeah, yeah, same to same information. Of course, you have to use information from the text. Now I'll write this for you guys. Uh, what to put in here? Firstly, yeah. I want to describe. My, secondly, is okay. Second. What students? No. Second, secondly, is also not okay. We have to write hundred words, sir. Hundred to one thirty words. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, students will learn to design and make their own quotes, right? So I want to describe what design and uh, as you wrote, design and make their own quotes. Design and make their own quotes. It was a good try to write personal rather than just. But the spelling of clothes already written here, so you should have copied it nicely. Okay, um, going visit to fashion museum. This is an activity that they will do in week one. After that, uh, use for drawings from uh, to design their own clothes. All right, you can also write that in here using drawings to design their design and make their own clothes. Right, using drawings using drawings using drawings to design design and make their own clothes visit the fashion museum mm, t-shirt printing t-shirt printing hmm. and shopping trips and shopping trips shopping trips giving information fully also isn't it a part of the text yes it is you must give information fully and appropriately shopping trips shopping trips and uh, uh and uh, uh i think friday night fashion show i'm going to the fashion show and going to the fashion show going to the fashion show on friday okay do you understand or not yeah Okay, now the second point is, secondly, uh, I want to explain what the students will do on the first day. It's given all in text B. Girish, read text B aloud. Girish is not here, I think. Jyoti, yeah, will... sorry. I was muted. Okay, sorry. okay, go on. Go on. Uh, dear students, welcome to the summer course. Carla Rossi will be your teacher on the fashion course. She has worked as a teacher of fashion for six years. Carla will meet you in reception at 10 o'clock on the first day. Your bedroom will be ready for you when you arrive. So you can take your bags to your, or your room. Classes will start at 11 o'clock. This take place in the fashion studio. You will need a drawing book watercolor paints and paper for taking notes how your phone with you take a photo so if you work don't forget the uh, don't forget the white t-shirt for the printing workshop kind regards jeff banks student service manager so what students are supposed to do on the first day first thing is that they are supposed to meet carla at reception at 10 o'clock okay Meet Carla. Yeah. Carla. At 10 uh, Carla. Uh, in re meet in reception at ten o'clock. In reception at uh, ten o'clock. All right. Ten o'clock. Yeah. All right. Then we have uh, these take place in fashion studio. 
uh, okay, so your bed bedroom will be ready for you when you arrive. I think this is unnecessary, right? Uh, okay. But yeah. an instruction they say is uh, you can take your bags to your room. You know, so it's like this is an instruction that they have to do, right? Take your bags to your room. Take your bags, bags. to your room. Then the next point is classes will start at 11 o'clock in the fashion studio. Classes will start, start at what time? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Uh, at fashion studio you can also say go to fashion studio to attend class at 11 o'clock right that's your choice how you want okay. to paraphrase it okay next one uh, okay. you need a drawing book watercolor paints and paper for taking notes okay so now uh, you need uh, uh you need stationery to take notes right or you may if you may you may also write these things all of this but we can't write everything so we can say i would use the word stationery that includes drawing book also pencils also everything but for example you don't want to write this then you can say you need to uh, you need um, drawing book uh, water paint watercolor Note, notebook is allowed a notebook and uh, notebook uh, uh okay and 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 notebook and paper to take notes to take notes okay. for example we just want to do the minimal right now what is required uh, take notes remember one thing that a person who doesn't understand the text can never find the answers that's the biggest task to find the information from the text okay okay do you understand me and last one is uh have your phone with you okay uh to take photos of work and don't forget the white t-shirt so i think we can write it like this that taking uh paper paper to take notes to take notes uh then we have uh, Paper to take notes, uh, phone. Let's write this like this paper, phone, um, phone, white t shirt, white t shirt. T -shirt. We can just mention things that they're supposed to bring with them, right? Finish. Understanding or not? Mm, yeah. Okay, now the third point is thirdly, both these texts would be used to describe the last point. Thirdly, I want to say what students thought about the last course. What did they think about the last course? Look, uh, Muhammad, read C. Uh, smart fashion school, last, uh, last year's students said, Mary, German, uh, what a great course. Everything was really good. It helped me to decide on the best career for me. If I can, I will be a fashion designer. Paul Bargen. I loved the t-shirt printing lessons. In fact, I have started printing t-shirts for my friends. And I may set up a business selling printed t shirt mainly it was a very practical course the visits were helpful and gave you lots of ideas but i enjoyed making my own clothes most i might get a job within with a fashion company okay so what idea do you get from here Mary Carmen says that it was a great course, right? So yeah. I want to yeah. say what should, it was a great course. It was a great course. And what else do you guys see that in here? A uh, great course and uh, helped to decide on the best career. Okay. Helped yeah. to decide. 
decide the best career. Look, yeah. this guy says that I may set up a business. Uh, he may in the future set up a business, right? So you can also yeah. write in here future business. Future business. Uh, or, or setting up future business. I'm sorry. Setting up. Setting. Future business and job uh, getting a job with a fashion company, right? Mm, okay. and uh helped with getting a job helped with getting getting a job with fashion company then there's another thing also now uh jyoti explain this text b please text d mom d d d yeah Last year, student uh, student seven best part of the course is uh, making clothes, t-shirt printing, uh, visit to museum and shop. Uh, good five is twenty overall uh, impression. Good uh, good five is twenty five percent. Very good fifty seventy five percent. Total students twenty. Now working in the fashion industry, sixteen students. Okay, so now we also think that this is also an opinion that the best part of the course was making clothes, right? And uh, yeah. most of the students thought that the the course was very good. Good. Right? So, um, best part of the course was best part of the course was making clothes. making clothes and most of the students thought most of the students or 75 percent you can also write students thought it was a great course it was a very good course it was a very good course task is complete you did not do anything on your own but you just chose okay. information from the text muhammad do you understand or not uh, yeah, may I understand? But uh, one thing I ask yes. uh, is the highlighted word we are same to same uh, copy copy from the text. Yes. So can can we use the similar words or it's okay? But I don't copy? think so, sir. You have the ability to do that. If you want to pass, use the shortcut. Use this way because okay. I what I'm whatever I am telling you that is based mm -hmm. on um, the criteria marking criteria mm -hmm. to pass multi text right and okay. see you don't know you you can't even copy the spelling appropriately how can i put pressure on you to write synonyms right mm -hmm. i know that mm -hmm. this is experience of like teaching so many students by far that it doesn't matter if you mm -hmm. um write synonyms or not you have to use information from the text you can write exact information also but listen people don't yeah. even have the capacity to understand the text people don't have the capacity to even copy the text can you understand? Mm -hmm. The text is yeah, in yeah. front of them, but still they can't write. So there's no, there's okay. nothing to, there's nothing to be worried about synonyms and stuff. They have just told us three things. Use information from text A, B, and C. There are marks for it, and there's a bar mm. for it. They are giving you marks for giving information fully and appropriately. If you're missing some points, this means you're losing marks, right? They will give you okay. less marks in that bar. Right, then they are giving okay. you marks for organizing information. If they don't see that you have organized your information carefully, then of course there will be deduction and marks. And lastly, of course, language control. And language control means spelling. Language control means grammar. You've got none, right? You have got none. Mm -hmm. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to copy and put it there and pass rather than failing. Do you understand me, sir? Yeah, yes, please. That's nice. Reading it. Speaking right in. Okay, I need to put on a word counter. Oh, well, that's 142. That's 142. I would be removing some of it from here. I want to remove that because, you know, I think most of the students thought it was a great course. It's not needed. 
because we already wrote that students thought about the last course. Uh, it was a great course, right? So it's already written. Still, we can remove a little bit from here. Uh, mm, mm, meet Carla. Uh, we can also go with be at the reception. Be, be at reception at 10 o'clock. I think we should remove this part because the most important information is classes will start at 11 o'clock at the fashion studio. Actually, you know, this is a lot of information, drawing book, watercolor, paint and paper. You must write stationery, comma, phone and white t-shirt. Okay. And then 124 rows. Uh, sir, do you understand me? Yeah. yeah ma'am not hard see if you will be too worried about synonyms and stuff this in itself is a hard enough task you know finding appropriate information giving information fully taking care of your grammar or your spelling and at the same time checking information from text a b and c right this is enough check of english that's it copy from the text But you know, when we are writing this, we are not choosing exactly, right? We have written it very precisely with commas. That information is not given in a sequence. We have made it in a sequence, right or wrong? Muhammad, do you understand me? Yeah, yeah. Look, this information is not given like this in the text. I have arranged it like this. You will arrange it like this. Isn't this writing? Yes, it is writing. Yeah. Yeah, so please focus on the main thing. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, the next class would be at 9 p.m. Okay, uh, Girish and the beautiful, uh, uh, what's your name, really? Jyoti? Yes, ma'am. Because Aisha Bin was missing. So she said that I okay. cannot right now. I will be at 9 p.m. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, then tomorrow, of course, we will meet again at 1 p.m. Uh, afternoon. Yes. 1 PM. Oh, yes. I know. Sorry, tomorrow is my exam. Yeah, we were going to meet at 9 p.m. again, right? In the meantime, sit down and okay. solve one full paper. If you want me to send that okay. paper to you, did that which one to solve, I can send it to you. Okay. Jyoti, have you ever read the topic about uh, Arundel Castle? Have you ever read that passage fully? Which one, ma'am? Arundel Castle. I think no, ma'am. Okay, Pete, I'll send it to you. Check. Okay. All right, guys, I'm just going to forward it to you. Hold on. Check and tell me. I think you mm. have it. Music. I don't know. I think you might not have. No, ma'am. I think that's one. This one language. graph. Does, does it come to your mind? This part? I think you I'll might try, have. This one. I think you've done this. I feel. I think so. You have. We, you and I, uh, you, Asha Ben and I, we did it together. But anyways, I'm going to forward this okay. to you and another test also check which one you've never done before. And before we meet at nine, solve a full uh, test. Yeah. Yes, mama. Yes, uh, it's one CD and uh, listen to music. Yes, we will done this yes, one. Yes, yes. I will find another one for you. You need to wait. Okay, Girish, I'm going okay. to send you a task also. Please uh, do it. Okay. And uh, what's your sure. name? Okay. You're available all day. What's your name? Uh, other guy, Muhammad? Yeah. Yeah. You. I, I, at I'll what be, time will At what time will you return at home today? Today, uh, I will be returning in uh, UK time eleven. Eleven. So yeah, you can contact me once you're back. I'll be available. Okay. Yeah. So because you know there are a couple of things that you need to do right now. You can't do any homework, but I'll tell you what to do at eleven. Okay. Contact me. I'll be okay. Available. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. In the Thank meantime, you. I'm sending Giresh and Jyoti work. Do it before yes, night. Okay. I'll be here for you. Thank okay. You. Bye, take okay.